talking about the blue series, it's very connected to the orange, but it's heavier and I have a little different sound. It gives actually more fundamental. Uh, if I go to the bass, for example, it has little, it has more weight, and that's also because I'm a, I have a tendency to go into that field of because I'm a low-profile player. I like the piano touch on it, and I came from a piano background, so that's really what I was looking for. And I felt more and more, I need something with more weight. And I see them, yes, you can use them perfect in a duo setting and so on, but more to blend with other instruments. So, for example, the bass mallet, I use them when I play with the organ in a church, and he played really in the lower part, I use those mallets. And when I want the brighter sound, I take them more kind of brighter in that series. So, the orange and the blue sort of together is also a nice mix when you do an ensemble. So, for example, if I want more kind of brighter sound on have a part that is really up there, I will use the little more harder ones together than if you play in the middle part, you have a little more mellow, sort of, sort of say, and then you go to the bass. But you stay sort of really in the same colors. And that comes from working with a lot with choirs, orchestras, like to blend with other instruments and etc. So I think that's really the beauty. So the Blue Series, speaking of the 300, that's the, really the base mallets. And the whole Blue Series idea came from, being, I've been doing a lot of duo playing, and realized that also and I also a Yamaha player, I play and I f figure out during the years they need more weight. So I'm thinking, hmm, can we do something that gives more weight, etc. So this this is a totally brand new with Vic Furt here. And it gives me more fundamental when I play with the 300. So it's really good for bass playing and also uh, playing with other instruments. I use it when I play, mix it with an organ or something or a singer, etc. So M301, uh, cover the whole instrument. I use them a lot for solo playing, have a nice weight, uh, and as always, the mallet sounds different on different instruments you play on. I'm a Yamaha player, so I figure out that it needs more weight, and I'm really happy how they really turn out. I just did a recording, for example, with a saxophone player who plays soprano. So to play with those, they give, give us this really good fundamental from the marimba and when he's flying on top of me. M 302 works great from I would say from maybe this C on this marimba and all the way up and works great on both instruments both on vibe and, and marimba and I, that's sort of the main thing I'm always looking for when you are in this mid-range that I can have mallets or works on really both instruments I don't need to change all the time and part of it because I play at the same time so uh, again have more weight than the, the orange series and, and part of that is also because I'm a sort of low profile player. I always like this keyboard feel like when you play piano coming from that background. So M302. M303 uh, has, I would say, good articulation, especially when you are from this part of them, from the FG somewhere, and go all the way up. Has a really bright articulation. Works great in a chamber setting, or when you want also, I use them a lot in a, when I play with big bands, and I would like to really be in the same kind of color as the trumpets, then I immediately go to M303, for example. M304 
really cover the, the top range on, on the instrument. Um, has a really clear articulation, in, I would say, if you play in a chamber setting. Um, strings together with some woodwinds and so on, and you want to play soft, but you want a clear articulation, really recommend those. And it works, again, works really great between the marimba and vibraphone. So maybe you wonder why I, why I have 10 models, like five of the blue, five of the orange. It's because of many years of experience. Uh, I got actually frustrated when I came to a lot of big percussion ensembles when you work with the keyboard groups. And one person has marimba mallets with a lot of wood in, the next one has with a lot of rubber. And it's like, I really felt like it's like you come in and play, play you have one steel string, you have one nylon on the guitar, etc. And, and, or you have one drum head with like double headed and the next one is like totally with a cap skin. So it's like all over, the sound is flying around. I want something to stay in the same kind of nice uh, colors. Same with um, coming from my background with choirs, orchestras, big bands, playing in small chamber things. I want things who can blend in. So the idea with all these mallets is that I know exactly what to pick nowadays. If I play with a singer, you ask me and a singer, or if I play with a choir, or if I play with a chamber group and so on. So I would recommend when you do uh, pick mallets, let's say for a keyboard uh, percussion piece, do your research so you really find what colors you like. And and because it's just say this is a silo mallet, it don't mean that that's the thing you should play with. It can be totally different if you just change to go maybe to a rap mallet or even softer sometimes, depending on where you play on the instrument. And also it speaks different on different instruments. So I think uh, you see a carpenter, he only has his toolbox with all the stuff he can, you know, for different things. I think I feel the same. Or a painter, you have all these colors that you can uh, lay up on the table and then you know, if I mix this with this, this will happen, etc. And that's exactly my inspiration.